these uh, parfleche bags. They're uh, made out of rawhide. I would call it a suitcase if I was talking in modern language. If you come right down to the nitty gritty, they just call them rawhide bags. The uh, rawhide is folded when it's wet so that it uh, keeps its shape. They used them to pack all their belongings in when they were traveling. They would be used separately for different items. I would say that uh, this is a food storage bag because inside it's a little cleaner than the rest of them. The big bag is more like a family bag. They were put on the back end of a saddle and strapped down so that they could get into them without having to take it completely off the horse. That one would probably belong to a lady. Most generally, they, they carried uh, like their sewing items. I would say that it was used uh, similar to a lady's purse because of the fringe work and the ornamentation that's on there. Sometimes they have a meaning, depending on uh, what they want them to represent. I've seen some with birds on them, and I've seen some with horses on them, and uh, then of course these are geometric designs. It just depends entirely on the artist, I guess you would say. I've only seen two older men that had bags that were made out of rawhide like this in my lifetime. When I was a young girl, probably around seven or eight, there was an old man, he was blind. He lived across the road from us. He would get his drum out early in the morning and he'd hear him singing. I used to like to go over there because he'd, he'd sing all the old songs. and. Uh, He's the one that had one of these bags. In there he had some eagle feathers and some eagle plumes, some pieces that looked like metal pieces, but, but they weren't metal. And I uh, often wondered about that, but I was too young at that time to, you know, to really uh, know what it was, but um, it took special care of it. He had it wrapped separately from all the other stuff that he had in there. Of course, at that time, you know, I was taught never to inquire as to what, uh, you know, what was in your bag or, you know, what is that used for? Uh, it uh, was considered rude. And again, I was a girl, so I wasn't um, in that position to ask questions like that. <laughs> 